Taran tan tan taran tan tan tan. Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about light and heat. Let's go. We are going to start with light. We already know that light is a form of energy that makes it possible for us to see. And the sun is the most important source of light energy. Light can travel through translucent or transparent materials like plastic or glass. So we can see light through these materials like a window, a glass or a bottle of water. But it cannot travel through opaque materials like wood or rocks. So if we are in a room without any window, we cannot see the light from outside through the walls. Now let's have a look at two characteristics of light. The first one is reflection. It happens when light hits an object and bounces off in a different direction. For example, let's have a look at this duck. The light comes to the duck and it bounces off, which is go in, the, in another direction. And we have the reflection in the water. The same happens here with the mountains and the trees and here with the moon. The other one is refraction. It happens when light passes from one substance into another with different densities. For example, from air to water. Let's have a look at these examples. If we have a look at this pencil in the glass of water and we make a straight line through the pencil, we get that it looks like it's broken here just in the part where the light changes from the air to the water. The something similar happens here with these drops of water and it's very curious with the picture in the middle we have both refraction and reflection. Okay, now refraction. If you follow this line and then it change direction. This is the refraction effect. But also here we have the reflection effect because of the light as well. And last we have that when light passes through a prism or a drop of water, it divides into its true colors. That is why when it rains and then we have the sun out and it's shining, we can see the rainbow because the light from the sun is passing through some very tiny drops of water in the air and it divides its colors. Let's move on now to heat. Heat is the energy that flows from warm objects to cool ones. We already know that. But now objects are made of particles that are always in motion 
So the particles of the objects are always moving. These particles move faster in hotter objects. The red particles represent a hot object and the particles are moving fast. And here the blue particles are barely moving. Also, if the particle gets hotter and move too fast, they can change from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas. Speaking of heat, we need to know some materials that are important. On the one hand, we have thermal conductors. They transfer heat easily, for example, metals. That is why barbecues or ovens are made of metal. And on the other hand, we have thermal insulators. They do not conduct heat well, for example, wood or plastic. That is why we have wood, spoon, fork or knife in the kitchen so you can cook without getting your hands really hot. And the saucepan have both conductors and insulators. It has this circle made of metal to transfer heat easily and then the handle it is usually made of plastic or good because we need an insulator there. So in summary light is the form of energy that makes it possible for us to see. We have to know about reflection and refraction. Reflection is when light comes from one direction and it bounces back creating a reflection of the object like mirrors or an image on a lake or a river. And refraction is when you change the substance have different densities. For example, imagine this is a pencil and then here it changes a little bit the direction and it looks like it's broken. And last, about materials, we have two types of materials regarding light. We have translucent materials and opaque materials. With the translucent materials, like a window for example, light can pass through. But in the opaque materials, like a rock or a wall, the light cannot go through it. All right, let's have a look now at heat. Heat flows is an energy that flows from warm to cool objects. So it is a flow of energy. And regarding materials, we have thermal conductors that makes easier the, for the heat to transfer to one object to another and thermal insulators and in this example this part is the conductor and the handle is the insulator. That was all for this video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye all!